Hey everyone, Ed here with Michelle. Hey everyone. And today we are in, where are we at? Northfield. Northfield, okay, thank you Michelle. We were on our way over to my cousin's house today. We thought that, or I thought that there was a, a party going on for my cousin Kurt who is having an early retirement surprise party. Well, to my surprise, the party isn't until tomorrow. So we, I almost, you know, knocked on their door and said, is this the right place? And that would have been bad, Michelle, <laughs> because they are still not even aware that the party was happening until tomorrow. So I'm not going to put this video out until Monday, because if my cousin happens to watch this video, um, this is why I wasn't able to go to the party on Sunday, because Sunday I actually have carpet cleaning all day long. And that kind of blows up my whole weekend. So here we are outside of Farinacci's Pizza. And we've never been here before. And that's a shame because Michelle's uh, cousin, what's her, uh, Debbie? Debbie and Joe. De Debbie and Joe actually owned this place for many years. And we never came here to eat. And now it turns out that they don't even own it anymore as of 2021. But do you think that's going to stop me from wanting to go here and make a video? No. We are going to go here anyway. We're early. It's a quarter to four in the afternoon, and it doesn't open until four o'clock. So, Michelle, are you ready to give this place a try and see how it is? Oh, yeah. Smoke stuff on the I mean, we're here by default. We should have been at my uh, my cousin's house for a party, and, but it's not even today. So I'm the moron here. But what else You're is You're not there? a moron. Yes, I am. I'm, no. I, I can't believe I looked right at the invitation, and I, I for some reason, I, I, I saw it Saturday the 23rd, but actually it was Sunday the 24th. So whatever. Anyway, my loss, our loss is your gain, so now you're going to get to see us eating pizza here at Farinacci's. Uh, that's a fair trade-off for you guys. I hope it'll be a fair trade-off for us. Oh, it will be. Are you ready Very to get good. in there and check it out? You got it. All right, I'll see you guys inside. Okay, we are in, and we're the first ones in, and it's very nice in here. I love the, the smell. What do you got there, Michelle? Uh, their menu. Okay. So what do you think? Have you got an idea what you want to go with? No, because I just saw it right there. Well, what there. the heck? You know, you, you show me your menu, and then you say you don't know what you want. Oh, okay. Get, get with the program, Michelle. Get with the program. We're the first ones in here, and they had the music going. And he it was nice enough to turn the music down or off, so I don't get in trouble with YouTube. So, anyway, I wasn't really planning on eating too much because I was, we were going to go to that thing. But whatever you want to get, Michelle, remember, uh, they don't take um, debit cards here. It's either cash or check. Correct. So, there you go. Just keep that in mind if you're coming out to Farinacci's. Debit cards are a no-no. But they do accept checks. And now I've got the menu board up here while Michelle's looking at her little piece of paper. I'll show you guys this over here. Okay, a, a small plane is ten bucks, and an upsize to large is twelve for just a plain pizza. And it goes all the way down to the, the deluxe version, which would probably be the um, black olives, the sausage and green peppers type thing that you would see at P Pizza Hut. That's twenty dollars for a small, and a large is twenty-seven. And then you got all the whatever's in the middle. I'm a I love mushroom and I love sausage. So I'm thinking maybe getting those two toppings on a large, something like that. But they also have sausage sandwiches for $8, Italian sub for $9, garlic bread $4. And then the, the drinks, they even have beer here too. So a pitcher is five glasses, 18 buckarooskies. All right, Michelle's placing her order. Do you have Pepsi or Coke? We'll go with Pepsi for me. And then a water, please. Now, I, you know, Michelle, I always like the uh, mushroom sausage combination. What are you thinking for that? That's totally fine. What were you thinking? 
That's fine. You're good. No, tell me what you were thinking, okay? Well, I like pepperoni. You like pepperoni? So mm -hmm. you want to do pepperoni and sausage or pepperoni and mushroom? Pepperoni and sausage. Okay. Oh, there you go. Michelle made the decision. She mm -hmm. overruled my mushroom. Thanks a lot, Michelle. I'm okay. She won't tell me what she wants until you bring it out of her, okay? So you gotta, and then she'll yell at me off camera. Why did you just not ask me what I want? And then, then I gotta deal with that. Okay, all right. So Michelle, you have a little story you wanted to tell me about your cousins when, about the pizza that they brought over. He, Joe, my cousin, brought over a, a sheet pizza for yeah. everyone to try at Christmas time in 1984. 1984, yeah. I believe, and, and everybody loved it and everything. And then that's when he proposed to my cousin, Debbie. And, and they owned this place for how many years? Uh, I would say probably since the late 80s, late oh, 80s. So basically 40 years. Oh, no, maybe 35 years, something yeah. like that. Okay. Wow. And, the, and then they have four children. And so they may have retired now. Probably. Wow. You know. Well, you know, everyone's retiring now. We're, I'm approaching 60, and all my older cousins are retiring. So I guess yeah. that's good for them, but I don't see myself retiring anytime soon. Well, but that's okay. I'll be doing YouTube until I die. <laughs> so there you go. Don't okay. die anytime soon. Okay. I got to say, I haven't even had a pizza yet, and I'm already impressed. Kim and Claudia, the new owners, I feel like I'm part of their family already. And so do you. They came over, introduced themselves, yes. and thanked us for coming by. And I just feel like I want to adopt them as my new cousins, okay? 25 years, we've been in the family, and we've been together for and, 23 years. And, and Kim actually worked for your cousins as a server for many years, and so she knows the business. And I think it's awesome how they're keeping it family, you know? Yeah. They're, they're picking up where they left off, and now your cousins own another Farinacci's in Brexville. So that's another video waiting to happen. Awesome, baby. All right. Okay, the pizza is here, and it looks awesome. Oh, yeah, and it smells good, too. Mm -hmm. All right, Michelle. I'm going to try and cut a piece for you here. Jeez, oh, look at that. How it need, I, You didn't even have to fight for it. Look at that. It just came right out. Beautiful. Look at that right there. Nice. Okay, now, it's not extra cheese. It's a standard cheese. But it's got the sausage right there and the pepperoni. And I'm going to take a little piece of that with a fork. Very good. Oh, yeah. Let's try it without the honey. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> oh, yeah. It is not so easy with one hand. But man, it is good. It reminds me a lot of Biagio's. You know Biagio's in Eastlake? It's got that same kind of thing to it. Mm. Biagio's is awesome. Oh, yeah. That's for sure. Oh, yeah. It's a thin crust type pizza. If you're into the thick crust, this wouldn't be for you. But I can go both ways. I'm good with it. Thin and thin And with Michelle and the carbs, this is actually better for you, I think, you know. Not as much bread. The sauce is outstanding out here. Oh yeah. And just the right amount of cheese. Right. Look at that. I got a mushroom and pepperoni combination right there. Mm. Excellent. All right. Well, I'm down to my last piece, and Michelle is working on her second to last piece. And I'm going to tell you, Michelle, it, this was easy to eat. I didn't feel like, I mean, it, it goes down really nice and easy. And that, that, that's a sign of a good pizza. Enjoying it, Michelle? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I got to say, this place is awesome, baby. <laughs> oh, yeah. I loved it. Farinacci is over here in Northfield on Old Route 8. Michelle, what did you think? It was very good. I'm glad we stopped in for a good pizza dinner. 
people made us feel like we were part of the family. Even though we have never been here before, it, it just felt like we just fit right in with them. And yeah. the food went down nice. The guy in there, the kid, he's like a football player. He tore up his knee playing. I hope he turns out all right because he's getting an MRI on Monday. And um, Kim and Claudio, great people. My newest cousins. They're, it was really good. Yeah. And hopefully we can actually go to the one that you're cousins actually still own in Brexville. That would be our next video, possibly. Sounds anyway, good to me. if you guys enjoyed this video, please give us, a, give us a thumbs up. Until the next time, stay safe and have a great indoors day. Like, comment, and subscribe. You got it, baby. Bye.